Hello and welcome to another .py Python video tutorial. This tutorial is going to answer the question of why we need to use super when we write PyQt5 apps. So a PyQt5 app looks like this. This is just a little pop-up app, which is very basic. It just has three buttons. And it's created using the PyQt5 package for designing apps. This code that I've got down here is the code that generates this app. If you want to know how to write this code which sets up apps, then I've got another video tutorial specifically for generating your first apps and how, how this code works. This video is going to only focus on one line of code, and that is this line here. Because it seems quite out of place compared to some of the rest of the lines of code, and you might have seen it when you're copying other examples of PyQt5 app codes. It um, doesn't seem like it links to the rest of the code, but your code won't work without it. So hopefully after this video you understand why we need it and what it does. Um, and to go into this video further, you will need a basic understanding of how Super works. I have a three-part video tutorial on Super. You should only need the first few minute video and that should get you up to speed with basically what Super does. If you are familiar with using Super and Super classes and subclasses, then we can, we can progress on. Um, up in this part of the code here, I've actually got the code that I used in my part one of the super video tutorial, just so we can um, get a reminder of the structure of super classes and subclasses, and then we can compare like to like where we see the same elements from this example code in our PyQt5 code. And then we should get a better understanding of why we need super in this code. So I'll just quickly run through this example code. Um, we have a superclass called superclass, and it has two functions in it. And we pass those functions to a subclass um, in this line here. So when we define our subclass, which is called subclass, uh, inside the brackets, we pass in the name of our superclass, and now we get access to those functions. And we can call those functions using the Python tool super. So you can see within our subclass, we created a new function, which takes a variable y, and we've called function 1 from our super class by writing super brackets dot function 1. So that will apply function 1 from our super class without us having to define it within our subclass, which is very handy. So now let's go back to our pyqt5 app code. Notice um, let's start comparing like for like between this example code and our PyQt5 code. So notice we've defined a class called window and it takes in the name of another class. So this class called window, which might be called something different in your code, but this is our subclass and it calls from the superclass QWidget. And you can see QWidget differently from this example code here. Instead of defining Q widget. We've just imported it as a package. So what might be useful to see is um, because Q widget isn't written, we can't see all the functions inside it like we can for our superclass written up here. You can actually find the file for Q widget, and I've loaded it into my spider window here. Um, I'm using Anaconda, so you can see the file path up here. It belongs in Anaconda 3, lib site packages, Qt5, and Qt widgets. As you can see, you go Q widget comes from Qt widgets here. So within Q widgets, we have that Q widget. So this is our superclass that has a whole lot of functions here that we want to get access to in our subclass, which is called window. So all these functions here are for um, creating different buttons and features in our PyQt5 app. When we go back to this code, using super here basically calls a constructor function from QWidget and initiates those variables that need to be initiated, and then we can start using all the functions from QWidget. Set window title is one of them. Notice we didn't define this function, but because we've called QWidget as a superclass, I can actually, if I copy that, just as a little test, 
we can see it's defined in Q widgets, our superclass. So hopefully that's been useful and you understand why we have to use the super tool when we're defining uh, define the super tool when we're using PyQt5 widgets. And thank you for watching.